sub queries so till now what we have learned that in rdbms the tables are created on the basis of er diagram and multiple tables are created in this process so because of these multiple tables you may not be able to see complete information from a single table for example let us take the case of employee and department a company has number of departments and in each department there are number of employees so in general the following er diagram will be created consisting of two entities department and employees with one to many relationship so out of these uh, entities following two tables are created the first table as you can see is department table and the second table is employee table so what you can see is out of this two entity er diagram which is having an entity called department and an entity called employee and the relationship one to many following two tables are created i hope this thing is clear to you just to repeat one entity is department one entity is employee so what you get is these two tables department table and employee table now just to revise why not create a single table like this why we have created these two tables rather than creating this single table as you can see if we try to create a single table out of this whenever employee department code is for example 30 its name production and location delhi is repeated as you can see in case of employee number 5 employee number 27 and employee number 7 unnecessary production delhi production delhi production delhi is repeated which is called as redundancy anomaly so for this er diagram we cannot create a single table like this rather we will have to create these two tables i hope that you might have recalled your basic concepts now we can move ahead with the queries so uh, what are the basic requirement before you start with the queries kindly create these two tables in your laptop with the same values so that you can practice along with the tutorial i am again showing you the screenshot of the tables make sure that you have created these two tables in your laptop with the same values so that we can move ahead with the sub queries now let us start with very basic questions before we move to sub query related questions now the first question is very simple we want to display the code and names of those employees who are not attached to any department like you can see the output should come to sumit for akash 26 rohit now if you look at the values you can see that employee number 2 does not have any department code employee number 4 does not have any department code and employee number 26 does not have any department code so the records of these three employees should be displayed 2 4 and 26 so what is your query just try to answer that query in your laptop and see the result whether it is same or not so in the second part of my video i will start with the queries and their answer thank you so much